Okay, this one again, third time. I'm surprised it kicked my ass last time and I thought I found a lake. So you could see all the wetness and that's how it came in last time. And it was totally saturated on this line around the line, the fitting and the oil was literally went, followed the fitting back and was everywhere. So I thought, oh, that's an easy one. It's the O-rings. So I changed the O-rings, let her go. It's two days later, it came back completely flat. Okay, and it was all wet again. And looking at my fitting, my fitting is dry and there's no green stuff on the fitting. Well, a few minutes ago, I did pump that up to 170, which is usually higher than I wanted to go, but uh, on this one, I definitely wanted to find a leak. And unfortunately, you can't see it. Let's see. Oh, you can't hear it like I could hear. But from here, and if somebody is using an air tool, the air coming out of the air tool will peg this thing in your ear, so be careful if somebody's next to you. And even the vacuum of a carburetor accelerating in the shop, uh, it picks it up. So, here we go. Come in here. Now, it sounds like an ocean of a wind. And let's see if I could put my speaker on the speaker to phone. Hold on one minute. I'm going to try to take my headphone off and put it on the speaker. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the speaker into the earphone headset piece, I hope. Put it on here. And you're going to hopefully hear what I hear. And as I watch the, as you can see it go up, watch the meter at the same time. See that? Go away. Right there, at the very top. Now this is one I have not seen before. It is uh, literally, these are the tubes. That top one is not a tube. It just comes and meets right there. Now let me go get the bubbles, and we'll put the bubbles on there. Now this is one I have not seen. That is not a refrigerant tube it's leaking at. It's leaking above the refrigerant tube. This is just a metal piece of support. This is just a metal support. And I've never seen one leak there before. See, this is a first for me. Seen one leak where the metal supports it. Oh, of course, and this is aftermarket. It was in a body shop. This is, we have to, uh, have to blame it on the body shop and the aftermarket condenser of course because if this was a denso this wouldn't happen i always like to say that okay so let me take this ear earphone back again let's shut off the accutech and um yeah i was leak checking i was using the refrigerant leak detector and this again did not happen until i really pushed the psi way up high and the two times this came in on me before, it was cold in the 50s. It was either late, uh, it was both times it was late in the evenings, like seven o'clock. And um, it was already in the 50s out here. We're right off the ocean. And putting refrigerant in the system, did not find the leak. I jumped to conclusions and go, okay, it's leaky here. I see everything here. Um, even though I put in refrigerant in it for testing it, I couldn't pick up anything. I jumped the gun, I changed the O-rings two days ago. Said, okay, I suspect there, I even told the owner, I suspect there still might be a leak. And I think that might not be it because I could not force the O-rings to leak. I knew it was in a body shop. I knew they reused the old O-rings, so I changed them anyway. And um, didn't find that. And, but the difference was is I only used the electronic leak detector. Uh, I didn't take up the nitrogen so high before and I used refrigerant and I could not find that leak. But when I used this, it zoomed me right into it from about 18 inches away from way back here. I just moved it around like that and I could hear the noise and I just kept on zeroing in on it. 
and it was really fast. And even if there was refrigerant all over the place and your leak detector would falsely go off, false trigger because you have leaks and you try to turn down the sensitivity, but if there's too much refrigerant in the area, you, you can't zero in because once you pass your peak that your sensor can't block out anymore because you have too much refrigerant leaking in the area, your refrigerant uh, leak detector becomes useless. And that's where this become, comes in. So we have dry nitrogen in there and this, and from this far away, I was able to just zoom right in and get right to that. And that's how easy that works. So mystery solved. This one kicked my butt. I won't charge the customer uh, for any diagnosis or a recharge or anything like that. That's my fault. I should have found that the first or at least by the second time. Um, this is a butt kicker and, and now it's definitely big. Uh, that's obvious. I literally squirted this whole area down before with uh, this the last time two days ago and absolutely nothing bubbled. And I mean, I saturated the whole area and uh but now it failed the fracture the crack whatever it is is definitely big enough to find and sometimes that's what it takes you don't always find them the first time even when you know where they are all right see you guys